Good morning. Hey, good morning. Happy Valentine. Oh, baby, this is amazing. How long did it take you to prepare all this? Uh, some time. Wow. Thank you so much. Do you want some coffee? Happy Valentine's Day. Oh yes, coffee would be amazing. Here you go, madam. Coffee delivery. Thank you love so you. much. <laughs> Good morning in the morning. Right now, it's the first time I put a foot on the new tile. Ooh. A, a little cold, a little cold, but nice. Oh. The tiles are already dry, so don't worry, we are not disrupting the drying process. Mm. It's been over 48 hours since we laid all these tiles. The cement is already all dry. I think it needs maybe a little more to finish the curing process, but I can walk over it after 24 hours. I can already start walking over it. It's been way more than that. And I have to say that it's such a big difference walking over tiles to walking over the fiber cement boards. Like this feels so legit, so solid. And when I walk over here, I don't know. It just doesn't feel, doesn't feel the same. Not even quite the same. We just finished the first section of our tiles and now we are going to move on with the ceiling. And someone is already on couch looking duty. <laughs> yes, me. <laughs> Any options? Mm, not really. But I, I mean, I'm still. This is also kind of cute, the gray one. What How much are those? This is, for example, three hundred ninety-five. How about that one? That is one thousand no. dollars. How, like, can, how can a couch be that expensive? I would honestly be okay with only putting one of his boards over two cinder blocks and just call that our sofa. I like. I live in the jungle. I can sit on a branch. We're gonna do a wooden ceiling, and this time, sadly, we can't escape the thong groove. We definitely live in one of the most unpredictable places in this entire region. This mountain, the forecast just doesn't work here. In town, it's pretty sunny, 100% sure of that. And up here, rainy, sunny, changes every five seconds. And it's difficult for us when we're working outside because we just get wet. And if we're working with wood like today, our wood just gets wet. But there is something special about this place that I would just, I wouldn't change it for anything else in the world. I wouldn't change it for a very expensive and luxurious house on a crazy expensive neighborhood. I wouldn't do that. Maybe it's because our cat really enjoys being outside and having the freedom of his life. I just love the jungle in general. Hi my love, lunch is ready. Wanna come in? Okay. Hi my little chef. What do mm -hmm. we have on the menu for today? It's um, not very chef-like. Okay. Whoa! It's just pasta. That looks yummy. Pasta and tomato sauce. It's like our quick go-to lunch, right? This time we're gonna be working with 12 inches boards. They say 12 inches, but it's actually 11 inches and a quarter. And after you process it, you are left with 10 and a half inches but this is gonna make it so much easier for us it's bigger pieces so it's actually less work and faster to do it's 
so I'm back at my most favorite job, sanding. <laughs> and Rodrigo just asked me if I missed it. And I have to say, I really did, because it's super relaxing. I love to listen to music while I sand. I love to listen to audiobooks or podcasts, stuff like that. And I'm really enjoying it, to be honest. So let's get back to work. This is not good. It's starting to rain even stronger. Ah. Ah. It's actually so messy to work under these weather conditions. It's not fully rainy, it's not fully sunny. It's like you get four minutes of rain and then you get two minutes of sun and it just shifts. And then the wood is getting wet so we decided to bring it in and start doing one board at a time and we just wait until it's slightly sunny, do one board, start raining, bring it back in. It's gonna take some time. <laughs> and it, and it's, it's going to take lots of patience, to be honest. <laughs> like going. Oh, no, it's sunny. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but the, the board is wet, anyways. Like, do you think this, the sanding is still working? It's just. Well? It's, it's like a little mist, so. But this I is don't more know. like a mist. Do you guys see that part up there? Well. By the end of this video, we are gonna have a proper ceiling installed over there. Before placing the boards for the ceiling, we are creating a wooden frame over here. We're using some two by two pieces. We seal them and we made sure that they were completely dry. And the reason why we're doing this is because we wanna have a nice finishing just like that that you just don't see little holes of the screws. If I use screws directly from the wooden pieces to the metal, right here, let's say that we just put the screw from the ceiling piece to the metal, it's just gonna leave that little hole which I can cover up with some wood filler, but since it's hanging surface, it's just probably not gonna look good and I don't want that. I would rather use the nails, I already tested, and they are very, very strong. We also seal this thing very well, and it's, it's pretty dry. One of the biggest problems down here is to get fully dried wood because people just wanna sell it right away. And often, you are left with some not dry wood which dries well after you put it in there, and it just shrinks. Hopefully, this is not gonna happen to us. Fingers crossed. Hello there, sweetie. Hello. What you working on? Uh, sanding and sealing our boards. Wait, actually, <laughs> otherwise I can't hear myself. Um, I'm working on sanding and sealing our wooden boards and this time we are working with bigger pieces. That makes the job easier for us because it uh, covers more space. And yeah, that's it. What? That's it. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> It's all set. We are done with the framing. Now we can do the electrical part and later on start placing the boards using the nail gun, which should make it way faster. Our goal is to have both kind of lights here in this room. We're gonna have the warm light just as we have it in the kitchen, probably a chandelier just like that one. But we also wanna have white LED lights. This is something that I wanna do in all rooms because you never know if you're gonna have to do some hard tasks where you have to keep your focus in there and just, for me, I focus better and I do better reading, homework, computer work when I have white LED lights. Because when I have the warm lights on, all I wanna do is just chill. And for that matter, I have left three of those pass-through junction box. We got one in the middle for the chandelier, we got one over there, which is gonna be for the three little lights. One there, one in the middle, and one in the edge. Same thing over here, I left another one. I'm trying to distribute it in a way where I can just use it perfectly, that I just have to pop a little hole with 
a wooden saw and I can just connect the wires and put a little cover and it's gonna work perfectly. Right now I'm sealing the edges. This was the last missing piece in this whole sealing game because once these like heavy pieces are up there, I won't be able to seal them anymore. So I'm going to do that now. And after that, we can apply the paint. I just don't want to get like to... Of course. Are you ready? You want to grab it? Here, I want to throw it, you catch it. One, oh. two, three, grab it. That's so heavy. Enjoy it, I catch it. Okay. Here. What? <laughs> It's finally time for the fun part. We gotta paint all these boards. We're gonna use a white paint. This one should be good. Yep, this one is good enough. We are done with all the preparations from sanding to sealing and now painting and now we are ready to put the first board up on our ceiling and we are both very very excited. Are you excited? This is gonna change the whole look of our house yeah. and I know that there may be so many questions like why did we even paint it, why did we leave it just the raw color of the wood, look at our wall, yeah. we already have and we're gonna have much more wood than this yeah. and if we just cover the ceiling with a wooden color i don't know i yeah. just don't want to be trapped in a wooden box at all so exactly i no. want to we want to accent the ceiling on a white color and also the floor on a light color yeah and we're going to do trims around yeah that's the plan yeah let's, let's go, go. <laughs> got it mm -hmm. you hold it yeah okay hold only that side yeah and give me the other side It definitely changes the whole look. Yeah, for sure. Wow. I love it so far. Oh, I think yes. white was a very, very good choice. I think that kind of wraps the wooden color, the white accent as the ceiling, and it also kind of makes it look bigger. Yep. I think white is one of those colors that makes all the rooms look just, even yeah. if it's a tiny room, you just like don't see the corners, so you don't see that it's a small room. Yeah. I like it. It's getting there. It's I, getting there. I think in about, let's say two weeks, we are going to have a living room. I think. Like two to three weeks, we should be, we should be ready. For we, we are cool with do, taking our time yeah. and doing it and doing it right. Exactly. And just not rushing, rushing in it not and rushing, just yeah. getting it wrong. You want to do one more? Yeah. Actually, you already got it. When, <laughs> for, for today, one last one. Okay. One more and we call it a day. The day is over, but I still have the night shift to go. I am gonna do all the electrical wire for all the plugs and the light switch, and also do all the connections, leave everything ready to just go ahead and connect the lights once we have them. I am doing these connections in parallel. I have four of these blocks that I am connecting and for that I am using some little pigtails. This is necessary. Since it's a parallel connection, I have to join all the wires together and then just get one more wire coming out, which is the one that's gonna go to the plug. It's kind of messy and pretty tedious to do, but in the end of the day, it's, it's a way. It's the only way to do it, by the way. That's the time. <laughs> it 
it's already tomorrow. <laughs> I am so exhausted. But I managed to do the wiring of two of the plugs, actually one plug, this one down here, and the switches. I got two switches for the warm light and for the cold light. Oh, I'm just gonna go to bed right now. I'll see you guys in the morning. good morning since I was doing we were doing the ceiling yesterday and we we're just looking up my neck today is so stiff and it hurts so much and that together with that I didn't sleep well last night I only slept a few hours I will have a headache this is just not my morning welcome to my massage studio Freddy's Spa uh, is that nice or not? No, baby. And you, he never complains about anything. So <laughs> I think it's really severe this time. It's really, it's critical. Can Here are my last words. Hey. I leave everything to Roger. That feels like brand new. No, I can start working because this house is not gonna build itself. I was just telling Rodrigo that I can't wait for the day when we have tiles everywhere and when the floor is going to be clean the whole floor like no dust <laughs> no like sandy feeling no i don't know i can't wait for that because even if we vacuum clean a lot or we use the boom the broom whatever it's always like a little yeah there are always little particles and i can't wait for the day when this chaos is just not here anymore <laughs> but this this is a construction site I know. It, it's always going to be a construction site. Even though when we finish the whole thing, I want to come inside and just build my stuff. <laughs> like if I'm building something outside, I'm just going to come inside and just use a saw, use all the tools and just leave it a mess. Yeah. Hi, mister. What are you doing over there? So right now I'm continue, continuing to work on the electrical. Um, last night I was open until like midnight doing wiring some plugs I only got I, I know because I was awake and I, <laughs> I couldn't sleep and I heard you I'm no. sorry but no that's okay today I am continuing with it I have to connect all these wires to pass them through the ceiling and put them on the electrical boxes just leaving them in there that I can just pop the holes with the saw and just grab the wires later to connect all the lights That's it, we are all set with the wiring inside of the ceiling. Now we can proceed to place the final boards and get this entire ceiling ready. Yes, let's go. <laughs> looking so different now we are almost done we are only missing one last board right over there but that one is not the exact same size of one of the full boards so we have to cut it and then see if it fits properly and put the nails in there for that we have to go outside and do the cuts with the saw Got it! 
it's so crazy just how the ceiling can change the look of a whole room like just look at that at the accent the white accent I am 100% 100% convinced that that was the best color that we could have chosen for the ceiling wow amazing I know that some of you are also wondering why didn't we use drywall if we we're gonna paint it the reason for that is because we hate drywall <laughs> it's a nightmare for us yeah. after we did it in the bathroom we decided that we are not gonna do a single piece of drywall in the rest of the house so I would rather pay a little extra for the wood than do the drywall but I have to admit this job was kind of hard because the things didn't really fit into <laughs> yes. each other and it was like the walls were so much easier and the tiling was easier but the freaking ceiling like ah. you know what is next yeah lamps yeah no actually next is use all the details yeah lamps couch and connect all the electrical boxes yeah. electrical stuff and then that's it right yeah all the trims and the and kind a, of windows and, nice and everywhere table. yeah so for this one we can build it ourselves we're gonna leave it over here yes thank you guys so much for <laughs> I'm just looking at my glasses because I don't know if <laughs> because of the light it's like so oh wow you got beautiful eyes honey Ooh. wow <laughs> look at that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway you guys we're gonna leave it here thank you so much for all your support please 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 subscribe we have a goal of hitting yeah. 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year hopefully we'll get there should we start one of these crazy trends? Like, we will plant one tree, tree one Ooh. tree per every, I don't know, 100 subscribers. That would be cool. Hey, we can do that. Or flowers, whatever, build a garden and put, yeah, we, we will figure something out. We will plant <laughs> one, one something, one green thing per every 100 subscribers. Yeah. Starting now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bye. See you in the next video, bye. Bye.